Hello and welcome. This video is for those who want to apply for higher education financing, both scholarship and help. Those who have not started the process. And if you have started the process, you can still also watch until some point where you have stopped and you can pick something from there. If you are through with the filling and submitting your application, congratulations. Uh, once more, congratulations for being placed in the university or college or Tibet institution that you have been placed. The process of applying four steps, four major steps. The first step is creation of account. After creation of account, then you are supposed to activate the account, then go to step two, which is login. After logging in, you are supposed to verify your phone number. After ver verifying your phone number, you proceed to step three. Step three is the longest, and this is updating the profile, creating or updating the profile. So for new students, this is where you are going to take the longest of your time. Then you proceed to step number four. Step number four is applying for the loan. We are going to go through each step one at a time. We start with step number one. Step number one is creation of account. Creation of account is very simple. And for continuing students, you continue from the ELB account. You just continue with the ELB portal. But for new student, because you don't have an ELB portal that is existing, you just have to start from scratch, create an account, then proceed with the other steps. What do you need to create an account? All you need is an ID number or your KCSC index number and an email. I hope by now you have an email. So you can create an account through any of these three portals. That is help.co.ke. You can use hef.co.ke. You can use universityfund.go.ke. Once you have opened any of those the, the three sites, then click on portals. Click on register. You will be prompted to say whether you have an ID or not. You can pick yes or no. Each of them is okay. But again, if you don't have an ID, you cannot apply for the loan. You can only get the scholarship. If you have an ID, click yes. If you don't, click no. If you have an ID, then enter the ID number and then click that you are a Kenyan citizen. At the bottom there, click validate. If you don't have an ID, this is the procedure. Click no. When prompted to say whether you have an ID, then go to KCSE validation. Enter your E of KCSE, KCSE index number. Then enter the program code. The program code is in your admission letter. Then click on validate and you will be ushered into the next step. From there, you are supposed to, to set login details. Setting login details means that you have to enter a, a valid email address. A valid email address means that um, an email address that is in use, that you can access and use the link that will be sent to you to activate your account. Then you set password. After creating the login in details by entering a valid ID and the password, uh, an email will be sent to you. Go to that email and validate the information that is there. Click validate and your account will be active. Now you can go to step two. Step two is where anybody else can start, even those who have a portal already or those who have a help account for continuing student. This is a login stage. You have to come here and log in. If you are new, uh, log in by entering your email address and the password that you created. Uh, that applies to everybody else. If you are a new, then you will have to activate your phone number. And remember, your phone number should be registered in your name if you have to apply for the loan. Uh, so enter your valid phone number, and that phone number will have to receive uh, an OTP, one-time use password, and therefore it must be active. That's why it is called a valid phone number. Enter your valid phone number and confirm that it is correct by entering the code that will be sent to you. You are ready to, uh, to continue. Go to step number three. Step number three is updating the profile. So to fill the profile, you need to log in, then click on the left top uh, three dots, uh, these three lines, you will get a drop list, go to the bottom, from the bottom there click on update profile. Once you have clicked on update profile, this is what you are going to see. Update your details to assess university, fund scholarship and help student loan. These are two things we are doing together. So fill in section 1 to 6 to be eligible for the next step. So click on the tabs below. Here you have six tabs. You have personal info, residence, education, institution, parent, and then the completion part. For the part of the bio data, the first thing is our personal details, bio data. These are the details that you, are, you will be required to fill at the bio data. That is your name, ID number, KRA number, date of birth, Telephone number starting with 254, your gender, marital status, your disability status, and then the permanent residence as uh, per your ID. This is a box, box number, 
uh, postal code, town, birth, uh, count of birth, constituency, ward, division, location, sublocation. Those are permanent details, uh, ish, uh, information that you have to share. Then you will have to upload documents, two documents, that is one, your photo, and then you will be required to upload your ID in PDF form, both the signs back and the front in PDF form. Then you should move to step number two. Step number two is residence. Residence is where you are staying as of the moment. And this part of residence, you will be required to fill the following items. You will be required to name the nearest primary school. You are going to give village or estate where you live, road or street where you live, town where you live, constituency, ward, division, sublocation, and location. You are through to move to step number three, education. So as part of education, these are the details you are supposed to fill. You are supposed to give the level of education, whether primary or secondary, enter the KCP or KCSE index number and the year and such. Your details will pop up, then you can fill the remaining part, that is the name of the institution that you attended, and the type of uh, institution that you attended, whether it is a private uh, school or a boarding day, those details then you receive at the bottom. The fourth item is the institution. This institution is where you are studying at the moment. So as you can see, you are going to give the name of the institution and you can search the name of the institution. You are going to give the mode of study. The mode of study can be online, party time or full time. You are going to give the type of course. It will pop up. Then uh, you can give the course and the registration number. From there, what you are required to enter is the year of admission and the system will calculate the study duration and the year of completion, the expected year of completion according to the type of course that you are doing. You, are, you can also enter the current year of study. If you are, you are joining now, it is first year. Uh, next, last, you can enter now the details of the loan, how much money is required per year in your uh, course, and the amount the family can afford, and therefore the, type, the total amount of loan that you are applying. With that one, you can move to the next, that is the parent. When it comes to the parent, you are supposed to start by entering the family type. Uh, what kind of a family do you live in? You can have both the parents alive. You can have been raised by a single mother. You could have been raised by a single father. You could have, been, uh, you could have a deceased father or a deceased single mother. You could have been raised by in a children's home. Or you have one deceased parent or both parents are deceased that you are an orphan. Indicate the one accordingly. Then you are supposed to come drop to the bottom and enter the details of uh, one of the parents or all the parents or none, depending on what you choose up there. You can come here, for example, enter the details of the father. You will be required to enter the ID number, first name according to the ID, then the mobile subscriber. We have Safaricom, Airtel and Telcom. And then the phone number. Remember, they are supposed to validate this phone number by sending a code to them. You are through to move to the last item, which is complete the profile. When you, you have to come to complete the profile, if the profile is not complete, it will indicate. After all your details have been validated as correct in the profile update or a profile filling, then you go to step four. Step four is applying for the loan. You have to apply for the loan only if you have an ID. If you don't have an ID, you can't apply for the loan, but you'll get the scholarship. This is a process. Step number one, give consent for the data to be processed. Allow uh, HEF to use your data, to go through your data and place you accordingly. Number two, accept the terms and conditions of the loan. Number three, fill the guarantor details. You can use your parent as your guarantors. Number four, Enter the payment details, enter the bank account and the phone number, which will be used to give you the loan. And step number five, which is the very last stage, is submit. Once you are through with the, all the above processes, you can now submit your application for consideration. Remember, this will take care of the scholarship and the loan. Thank you.